on my birthday, I went down to the pet store, and I saw a woman with a skunk in her cart, and, I mean, she just picked them up, she just started telling me all about it, like, how great of a pet they are, and I just, I fell in love with it, like, I just, I had to get one. I went home, I looked it up on the computer, like, immediately. Beasters, come here. There's no need to raise a stink over Michelle Loalbo's pet skunk. Unlike her cousins in the wild, Beatrice has been disarmed, meaning her musk or scent glands have been removed. I figure, you know, as a college student, we don't have enough time to be able to go out and take care of a dog or, you know, walk them. Or, and my roommate and I are two big uh, fans of cats, so we just... I thought this is great. It's like the perfect hybrid between a cat and a dog. I tend to keep her in my closet. I call it the bee cave. Because, <laughs> I mean, I just have boxes set up for her and so she can hide and stuff she can snuggle with. And I just feed her dog food. Um, I try to feed her, like, wet food every now and again, like, as a treat. She eats, like, fruits, vegetables, but she can be picky. She won't eat everything. Around 20 states, including Pennsylvania, allow skunks as pets, generally as long as they are purchased from a state-licensed dealer or breeder.